so I know what you guys are all saying. You're saying, man, why didn't they put Mega Man in? Strider Hero is okay, but who the f is Firebrand? Although Firebrand is just from one of my favorite games of all time, so f you. What you should be really mad about is the f raccoon. But anyways, I digress. I'm here to tell you why Mega Man can't be in Marvel's Capcom 3, the Ultimate, Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3. Why well, he can't be in Marvel vs. Ultimate Capcom 3. I'm a Mega Man fan, just like all you dudes who are watching this. First game was Mega Man 2, and it had the dorky, like, dude with the bicycle helmet shooting, like, a gun at, like, some guy with a boomerang on his head, and, like, some guy with drills for hands protecting a scientist. It was terrible. But, unfortunately, Mega Man would not fit into Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and this is why. Everyone in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is super flashy and has like a crap ton of moves and style. And Mega Man has jump and shoot. Sure, he has like run and like run and shoot and then jump and then you know jump and shoot. But really, it's just it's he has jump and shoot. Yeah, I know that in Mega Man 3 he got like the slide and in Mega Man 4 he got the Mega Buster. Really, it's still kind of just like like moving around and jumping and shooting. And then he got animals, like he's got like a bird and beat, and then he's got Rush, which he can like jump off of and and then wear his skin to do things. But really, when it really comes down to you playing Mega Man, Mega Man jumps and he shoots. Sometimes he jumps and shoots at the same time, but he, that's all he's got. So that's why he can't be in Marvel's Capcom 3. The only reason why I would allow him to be in Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3 is if if he got the Metal Man weapon. Because the Metal Man weapon, as all true Mega Man fans know, is the most godly Mega Man weapon ever made. Questionably the most godlike move ever. Except for maybe Super Metroid at the end of the game when she gets the ultimate laser. But really, it, it can cut down anything and it never runs out of energy and you can shoot it in any direction. So he would be able to beat. It beats Dark Phoenix, X Factor, Sentinel, everyone. So you see, they can't put in any character that doesn't really have enough moves to be able to do awesome stuff. And unfortunately, Mega Man just has like two things. So, so they couldn't put him in because he didn't have enough moves. Oh. Oh yeah, and Phoenix writes in the game. So...